Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to discuss another exciting topic in Oracle Fusion. Today I am going to discuss another exciting topic in Oracle Fusion and that is an asset module. Uh, we will discuss the group asset. What is the group asset functionality in Oracle Fusion? Okay. So first let's, let us understand the concept, concept of group asset, right? So group asset actually a combination of multiple assets. And if you want to depreciate this asset by group wise, not individual asset wise, that also you can do in Oracle Fusion. And you can uh, group multiple asset components in, into one group asset and you can submit depreciation for them. How we can do this? Let us see. For example, we have one computer system and in computer system we have monitor, we have uh, CPU, we have uh, keyboards, we have mouse, uh, we have modems. So we have wireless routers. Suppose you want to group this, all these sub components into a group assets and uh, want to run depreciation uh, with uh, in, instead of uh, uh, running depreciation individually for all of them okay so you can group these assets into one and you can run depreciation okay so the first step is to enable group depreciation in asset book right so let us go to book control window okay Setup and maintenance is asset book. Manage asset book. What is your book? US corporate book, right? So for US corporate book, we want to enable the group asset or group depreciation. So go to advanced rule and in advanced rule enable this group asset or allow group depreciation right to enable this checkbox so it is done now create one group asset so once you enable this you can create a group asset close this work area go to asset and create one group asset add asset so here for the book us curve we are going to create one group asset, change the asset type to group. So by default it will be capitalized, so you can change the asset type as group, category. For example, we, we are entering the major, major category is computer and uh, the minor is hardware. So we will group some of the computer hardware related uh, assets into one group and we'll uh, run the decision. Description Group Okay Group asset You can see the cost field is disabled here so group asset, the master group asset itself has no cost. So once you keep on adding the individual asset into this group asset, then only it will get the cost from this individual asset. So group asset itself has no cost. That's why it is zero. Even you cannot enter any cost detail here. That's why it is disabled. Location. Uh, USA, right? 
for us corp location uh, will usa is the country and search for any location here locations they are coming from location flexible it's one of the key flexible asset key flexible okay so now you need is one and uh, click on next so asset number group 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 2 okay so asset number is group 2 group asset 2 now just submit it and save it so now we have created one group asset a group asset 2 it is visible here you can see the cost is zero and the category is computer hardware Now create individual assets and assign to the group asset. So now the group asset is belongs to computer hardware, and we'll create some of the individual uh, components for these assets. Okay, add asset. For example, we'll cata the category asset category will be same computer hardware. description suppose it's monitor cost is 5000 location again they were say go to next you can see asset type is capitalized okay so here we don't need to change the asset type it should be capitalized okay individual assets the type should be capitalized so asset number monitor 1 cost is 5000 and here what you have to do go to financial detail In financial detail, you can see here the group asset number. So here, the individual asset you have to link with the group asset. The group asset is group two. So we have assigned this individual asset to our group asset. Now submit. Create another asset, and uh, that is CPU or Central Processing Unit. Category is Computer Hardware. description it is cpu bye bye the but the cost is 12000 okay provide the location next c 
Shikp O1, the cartridge uh, 12,000. Assign this to group asset. We created group asset two. Submit. Okay. So now we have created two individual asset to the group asset. Uh, you can ask for a requirement. You can. Uh, include multiple assets to the group asset right so i can uh, add keyboards i can uh, add mouse and uh, modems other things like other sub components of the computer system i can add here to the group asset and uh, then you can go to the group asset and run the depreciation so now just check what is the cost because when you initially created the group asset the cost was zero now you can see the group asset cost has been added from the individual assets, right? So group asset two, you can see uh, five thousand uh, the computer monitor and. Uh, 12,000 CPU. The total net value of the assets is 17,000 added to the group asset. Okay. Now you can go and run the depreciation. Calculate depreciation. Just check if the depreciation process is complete. You can able to see the depreciation history. Okay, calculate depreciation is succeeded. Now you can again go to group asset, quality asset. So asset group two, you can see uh, if you go to the depreciation. So 401 depreciation has been uh, booked for this asset. So now the recoverable costs, uh, net costs, and other things like net book value of the asset, you are able to see. So after uh, deducting the depreciation amount from 17,000 you can see at the net book value for the asset. So in this way you can run bulk depreciation. The bulk depreciation or group depreciation functionality you can enable for the asset book and you can handle the group assets. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Thank you guys.